today we're going to be solving this problem uh, number 1021 on leak code um, and basically what this problem is asking you is you're given an input string and you basically want to remove the outer parentheses of each set of parentheses as confusing as that sounds so given this input string you can see you're going to get three sets of parentheses as the output and this is because you have a set here and another set here but you want to remove uh, this parentheses and this parentheses because that's the outermost parentheses so that's that gives you two sets of parentheses and then for the third set you can see it's maintained over here um, and basically when you remove the outer, outer set of parentheses, which is this guy and this guy, uh, what you're left with is your third set, which is why you have three sets of parentheses in the answer. So um, pretty much to start this out, uh, the first thing we want to do is turn the string into an array. Um, this is just because it'll be a lot easier to work with. So we'll do that. Okay, and then the next thing that we should do is we should create a data structure uh, for our answer or to contain our answer. And basically, I'm just going to use a list. I'm sure there's a better way to do it do it and probably a more efficient um, data structure we could use but I just like using the list um, after that we're gonna need to keep a count of um, of the amount of parentheses that have passed so we're gonna need to keep a count of this type of this parentheses and that parentheses um, and basically this is a pretty important step because once the paren count is equal to zero we know we have an even amount of uh, left facing parentheses and right facing parentheses so after that we're gonna want to iterate through the, uh, the string Okay, so after we iterate through the string, we just want to grab our single character, which is going to be a single, uh, let's just call it single paren equals, uh, I'm just going to copy this of index i. Then we're going to have two cases, right? So we're basically going to have case one, which is going to be uh, this kind. And basically for this, we're going to say that if a single paren is equal to this, this one, then we want to uh, minus the count. Um, and the reason that we're minusing the count is because this spacing parentheses can never be first. Um, and it always has to be, in order for the set of parentheses to be even, it always has to be prefaced with uh, one of these. It always has to be prefaced by one of these, because uh, that would make it a, a full set of parentheses. So that's why we minus it. Um, and then pretty much we just check uh, if the paren count is not equal to zero, right, which means, uh, okay, it's not even, then we take our answer dot add, and we just add a character uh, to that. So we could literally just add uh, 
single string that. So yeah, so that takes care of our first case. Let me just delete this. And then for the second case, uh, case two would be if we encountered uh, this type of parentheses, if while we're iterating through our input string. So pretty much we're going to say else So pretty much if the, again, if the parenthesis, the counter that we're keeping track of is not equal to zero, we know that we haven't reached our even amount. Um, and give me a second, I'll explain it a little bit more and we sort of walk through an example. Uh, okay, and then, so that takes care of the second case. And that takes care of our iteration. So now the last thing we want to do is parent list into string for return. Uh, obviously, there's a better way to do this, but this is just a quick answer. So pretty much we're iterating through everything we put in our answer. We're pretty much just concocting a string. And then we're return uh, returning ants string. Okay, so let's run this and see if it works. Uh, let's see, I'm missing a colon. Uh, so I'm missing a curly somewhere. Um, let's see, let's start up here. So I think I'm missing one down here somewhere. This did not. Uh, that looks like it took care of everything. Okay, let's run it again. And it looks like we got the right answer. So first, next thing I want to do is I want to debug this just so you guys can understand why it's working. Um, so I think if I add a breakpoint here, go into debugger, debug. Um, so this is our input string. Um, and on the first iteration, we have this, right? Because this is right here. This is right here, right? Um, so on the first iteration, uh, the paren count is equal to zero. So this if condition is not gonna be satisfied. So it should step over that. And then it just increments the parentheses count, right? Because we looked at one parentheses in the string sequence. So now if we go into the next iteration of the loop, we should be looking at uh, the same type of parentheses, which is here. That's the index we're looking at. And this time, however, um, the paren count is not equal to zero because it's equal to one. So we're going to be adding that string to our final answer and then we increment the paren count again. Now, the next time it goes around, we're gonna encounter this. All right, so when we have that, we subtract from the, parent the parentheses count, right? Which gives us back one. Again, it's not equal to zero, which means we haven't we haven't gotten our we haven't gotten our even set of parentheses. Basically, we haven't removed the mo the outermost parentheses. When when paren count is equal to zero again, we'll know that okay, we've removed the outermost parentheses. So let's just keep stepping through this. We're gonna add that. So now you see here in our answer we have one full set of parentheses. So we're gonna need to go through this again. It's gonna do the same thing pretty much. It's going to add that, it's going to go again, it's going to add the next set to, to close out the parentheses. There we go, and then, okay, so ideally, so the parent, so before we get into this iteration, the parentheses count is at one right now, 
So we step over, step over. So we're dealing with this parentheses, which in our input string is at this index right here. So if we step through, we subtract from the parentheses count on line 17, which makes our parentheses count equal to zero in this iteration. Therefore, it does not add that final parentheses to the string, to our answer, and we get what we need. Uh, I hope that was pretty clear. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, just put it in the comment box. Hope you guys like this recording. Uh, like, share, and subscribe.